to the Waitai Coastal Burwood Community Board, um, Kelly Barber. Thank you. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Um, once again, I'm enjoyed, uh, enjoyed, enjoying being joined by Chris Turner. <laughs> Extraordinary. Um, yeah, first up is uh, community boards uh, under delegation. Um, I'll take this all as read, but um, so one of the first things we've done is uh, is had BB Frail appointed to the uh, Orion Customer Advisory Panel, um, which I know she's excited about. Um, we've also had uh, approval of public notification process of proposed lease for the Christchurch slot uh, slot car raceway incorporated group. So we're kind of excited about that. They're um, uh, moving into our area. If I've been across the other side of town. Uh, they came and uh, gave us a little presentation at Community Board. Um, fascinating uh, array of, uh, of boys' toys that they have, um, which we uh, we were promised to go off. I think James might have had a, had a crack before. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, the other thing I'd like to bring to your attention is uh, just some of the uh, discretionary response fund um, allocations that we've had. Um, I suspect that the public, public probably uh, see this as some of the kind of best work we do at the City Council. So we fund things like uh, Parklands at Play, I Love New Brighton, uh, Dallington, Avondale, Burwood combined events in 2021. Um, these are really positive for the community and uh, when you see the people participating in them, particularly families, um, it, it gives you a, a, a real good feel about uh, where we're spending our money uh, in these sorts of areas. So, moving right along. So, uh, examples of uh, community projects that we're involved in. Uh, this is um, a picture of Yvonne Ritchie, who's uh, spent 25 years um, serving uh, the Ascot Community uh, Centre. So, they're a group that sort of wrangles all the community organisations that want to use that facility. Uh, if you don't know, it's the original uh, little golf uh, club headquarters over at, in the larger QE2 complex. Um, so uh, we've asked for expressions of interest, or staff have, um, for uh, a group to, um, to manage the facility. Um, and there's a whole bunch of, of different groups that, that do use it. Uh, it's one of those community facilities that we have, council facilities that <coughs> is well used and they're looking to um, increase the usage there. Um, one of the other community projects that um, I'm excited to talk about is the Bridge Street uh, South Brighton um, uh, Charitable Trust. Uh, so they're turning uh, an old church into a community hub uh, run by the community. Um, we actually fund them through the community board, uh, but they also got funding through um, the shovel ready, the government shovel ready projects. Uh, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. This is a group that um, just beavers away. They didn't know where their next dollar was coming from. They could see a real need in the community for a community uh, facility when uh, we lost a few in that sort of South Brighton area. Um, they're relentlessly positive and um, yeah, I'd particularly like to thank council staff who have been helping them sort of plan and uh, facilitate um, their strategic planning um, for how they're going to go forward. So they're really excited to get this, uh, this extra money and they're going to make a real difference in that community. They've got a little cafe planned, they've got um, approval to run a number of events during the year so it could be 21st. Uh, there's only a few because of the, there's obviously a few restrictions on, on the noise and, uh, and the frequency of that sort of thing. But again, a really positive um, thing going on down there. So progress against the uh, um, our board plan. Um, obviously, we've um, we've got uh, Tetira Ka Hiku Hiku um, uh, operating in our area because we have a lot of uh, red zone um, area in our two wards. Um, this is one of the projects that they've funded, um, and um, to the tune of twenty thousand dollars. This is the uh, in the Otakaro Avon River Corridor. It's the Eco Action Nursery Trust at work. So the great thing about this is it's eco-action, uh, not just eco-talk. Um, so they basically facilitate the planting of plants and all they need is the manpower. And the manpower they get for these particular um, plantings are often school kids who get really involved in, in the whole process. 
Um, a few of the community board members have been down there. Uh, myself, Josie Voss, and, uh, and Phil was down there for one, and James has been at some. Um, Phil just brought a shovel this time, so <laughs> yeah, we, we didn't need to, uh, to big in the big stuff. Big stuff. Um, but yeah, there, it's, a, it's a great feel-good activity in the area. It's, um, it's making the place look good, and it's, it's, it's really involving the, uh, the locals. So yeah, really excited about that. Um, and also another thing uh, that we've had against uh, progressing our community plan is the roads and transportation links is, is important to us. Um, and I think I mentioned last time that we had Richard Osborne and Mike Davison out for a, a bus trip, which went around having a look at the roads. Um, so that was good, enough said. Um, community board matters of interest. I just want to highlight the Community Watch Burwood Pegasus group. Um, they do some great uh, work in the area. They're affiliated to the national body. Uh, local police have mentioned how great they are. I mean, they've been out in 285 patrols, 1,090 volunteer hours. Uh, they're a small but really committed group. Um, and they're happy to have people come out with them. So they do a lot of work uh, for the police, just sort of um, being an extra set of eyes, good communicators um, and, and great service of the community. So I wanted to highlight that. And that is about all, unless you have any questions. Have you been out with them? Uh, not yet. Yeah, no, no do it. I, I did it when I was the MP for the area. So yeah. it's a great uh, community service and uh, just, just great men and women who just get out there at night time and keep our community safe. It's a great service. They have fantastic suppers too at all their meetings, you know, <laughs> which, which may have something to do with the... Well, that's uh, always a good judge. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. Uh, the membership. Uh, Pauline and then Jimmy. Thank you. Thanks for a great report. It's always exciting to see everything going on in the east, and I'm particularly impressed with those plantings and uh, the number of people turning out. That's just incredible the way people are getting in behind our city. And my question is on uh, 7.2 with the Archery Club. Sure. Um, and I see the community board has requested and received staff advice in particular around issues raised during the hearings panel's process. I'm just wondering if there's any progress there because I think the panel recommended that the board work with the club to try and identify a more fit for purpose location. Have you got an update on that or is that yes. too soon? Well, it is kind of, it's fairly early. I mean, staff made um, a recommendation for the old golf driving range, I think it was. Um, and um, mm. yeah, so there's been some discussion around that. I mean, we've also, we've been talking about it a bit as, as to other potential sites, um, but I think that, um, yeah, staff will come back with, uh, with a recommendation and, and then take it up with the club. So staff have been discussing with the club um, oh, already good. on yes. potential good. options of where, where yep. they could move to. Oh, excellent. Um, so it's, it's progressing. Oh, that's excellent. Thank you very much. I hope you get a solution. Um, I met nearly Fairhall at that club and, um, oh. and my only time I've ever, you know, had a go, had a go got a bullseye. Uh, um, well, I'm sure that it was just luck, you know, it, was not, <laughs> it certainly wasn't skill, but um, it was, it, it, it was um, yeah, no, it, and it, it's, a, it's a great sport, you know, so I yeah. do hope that you find a solution um, that works for everyone. Uh, Jimmy and then Aaron. Uh, thank you. <coughs> Sorry. Thank you for the sub, uh, report, very impressed. My question is in relation to the 5.1 and 5.2. These two community center, ESCO community center and Parkland community center, both a community uh, <coughs> center facility is owned by council or is partnership or by the community? Uh, they're owned by council. Oh yeah, yeah. but council. So the, uh, regarding those the group, uh, the existing or new group, is a uh, council unique uh, the kind of rental tenants. Um, oh, oh. Yeah. So, so for, for Ascot, um, it's out for expressions of interest for someone else to manage the facility, so council will still own it, but um, someone else will take the management. Is that what you're asking? Jimmy? Yeah, 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 that's right. Yeah, okay. So that's, that's out at the moment yeah. for expressions of interest. Okay, but if they have a kind of sub-tenancy, they are just engaged with the those... The, so the, the, the people tenancy. that manage it then will hire out or um, they'll manage the bookings for the facility. Okay. But the council can charge the tenant's fee from this uh, rental no, on an annual basis or not? I don't think that's what the, the intention is, no. So it'll be, um, 
It's not. It's they're managing it on behalf of council so that it saves the council's resources for having to do it. Okay. Okay. Thank you. I, I did notice the activation of the community was the intention not being a booking service. So I'm just yeah, sorry. <laughs> looking for something a little bit more um, on board than that. Aaron, four seconds. Yeah. So the, um, I was just looking at the uh, the leasing. I agree, archery is a, is a great sport, um, and uh, and for me, Neroli Farrell was a, a legend of this country because she competed at the Commonwealth Games in a chair, not in the uh, not as a disabled athlete, but as an athlete, and uh, and won. Um, had you considered combining the archery club with the community patrol because that would really lower the crime rate? <laughs> That's something that we can take to the board. Yeah, I, I see where you're going Sorry, with that. Yeah. I, I have to say that's the best one yet from you, Aaron. That, uh, that, that, one, that one deserves to be written up on the Chief Executive's report. Yeah. Thank you for bringing humour and joy to our council table. And thank you, uh, Kelly, for you and your team, and Chris, we miss you. Um, uh, thank, you. thank you for what um, you're doing in your community as well. It's a great report. Thank you for the ongoing support. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. And the, now the Waimaro, uh, Fendleton Waimaro Hereward Community Board.